it was the decision of the chief minister that he should include one of the MPF families in the ministry. That was the prohibitive power of the chief minister. So he inducted yellow. And uh, that was not the decision of the MPF uh, party, or that was not the decision of the uh, MPF legislature party. In regard to this uh, chairman, This depends on the decision of the three coalition partners, including uh, two independents. Because this UDA chairman is not appointed post. 60 member has to elect this uh, UDA chairman. So the, when we elect this uh, UDA chairman, from NDPP, Mr. Kaito, I uh, propose my name to be the Chairman of UDA, seconded by the independent MLA Tongbang. So all the 60 members uh, uh, agreed and they have raised their hand. So it is not the decision of the uh, MPF uh, political party. So today, if any changes to take place or anyone to replace UDA chairman, then it will be decided by 60 members, not by MPF alone. The Chief Minister asks uh, OYM LO to uh, resign. He cannot do that. From outside, anybody can say anything, but that is not their power. It is appointing minister is the prerogative power of the Chief Minister. <coughs> Any? So you have claimed, uh, you are saying that it is merger. But as per law, merger has to be at coming together of two, two parties. But here, NPF still exists. So NPF still exists and NPF has its own MLAs in the house also, as it is. So what will be it? it the law say two-thirds or more than two-thirds can merge into another, another political party according to clause 4.2. It's very clear not along with political party. Before amendment, clause 4.1, two-third MLA along with political party functionaries. That was very clear before amendment. But after the amendment in 2003, along with political party is omitted. And the law say that party merger along with two-third MLA deemed to have taken place. I mean, the word deem has put a stop on the uh, clause 4.1. That's what I, I have uh, already explained. The MPA party will be there. MLA, those who want to uh, remain as uh, MPA, MLA, they can remain. The law says so. So they were also, uh, the person also claimed that some of the uh, MLAs were hijacked hijacked out of the 21 and also what is the reason why uh, the four MLAs were left behind? No, it's absolutely wrong. Mm. Our legislature, legislature party functioning system mm, was quite different from party functioning system. Whenever we take important political decisions, as leader of the legislature party, I used, I used to question MLA one by one, pulling the opinion of each MLA. After, after pulling the opinion of each MLA, we come to a conclusion, to take a decision. So these 20, 21 MLA, out of 21 MLA, anyone hijack or forcefully taken away, question does not that we fully they have agreed and we have come together and we have taken decision consciously not against anybody's uh, wit so the question of hijack question uh, does not that the chief minister has time and again said stated that the NDPP is, uh, is willing to continue with the 40 26 sharing with the BJP in the next election Having said that, the NPF, however, 
uh, uh, 21 MLS from the NPF have merged with NDPC, and now the uh, number of MLS legislature in the NPP is higher. So do, do you not think that that would be an issue uh, in the next coming election? No, no. We are, think, we are heading towards election in 2023. We are now in 13th house. So for 2023 <coughs> election, with this new dispensation, the uh, decision can take place. Mm. The MPF 25, out of 25, 21 merged into NDPP. So 42, total number comes up to 42. Then BGP 12, two independent, four MPF. Now, if all the party, according to the present arrangement, MPF also decided to go along with this uh, UDA government. Mm. That, 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 that most will come by everybody because of Nava political issue. So if they want to have a seat arrangement with the present dispensation, then the, the four seat will be reserved by MPF. 42 seat will be reserved by NDPP. 12 seat will be reserved by BGP. I'm talking about common sense application. Because no MLA can be discriminated hmm. if his position is not uh, in a hopeless uh, position. So that arrangement will take, be, be taken place when we approach nearer to the election. Before election, the new decision may be taken, but without the knowledge of 21 members, no decision can be taken. Decision of NDPP will be comprised of these 42 MLS. So that question does not arise at this point of time. Before this new arrangement, anything might have been said. BGP also, they said sometimes 60 seats they contact. Sometimes the previous arrangement will uh, continue. But nothing has been decided so far across the table by three, three political parties. Sir, uh, all the leaders are stating that all these developments are taking place in order to give the final push to the Naga issue so that there is an amicable solution at the earliest. However, we can see that the political, the election tempo has already touched the state and a lot of developments are taking place. So can we expect a solution at all, you know, before the 23 mm -hmm. uh, general elections because you along with the CM and other leaders have already met the Prime Minister and the Home Minister as well. What can we expect? As we have announced before the people of Nagaland, three of us, CM, Deputy CM, myself, and uh, our uh, Raja Sabha MP, four of us met Home Minister and Prime Minister. And we requested them, both of them, that they should send interlocutor, A.K. Mestra to Nagaran, to resume, to resume the talk with NSCNIM and seven NNPGs. Accordingly, as committed by both of them, <coughs> A.K. Mestra came to Nagaran and he, he, he stayed here for about uh, one week, consulting all the key leaders of the uh, Naga uh, civil society and the two Naga negotiating group and he went back to Delhi. After his return to Delhi, we are yet to contact him again. But we'll surely meet him and he might have discussed with NSTM, IM and 7 NMPG on the contentious issue of Naga flag. And after we meet a chemist, we are surely going to question him the outcome of uh, his discussion with uh, NSCN IM. And he told me personally that uh, he will call NSCN IM again to Delhi or he will come back here for giving a final touch. So we are hoping that uh, something amicable settlement will come with a compromise 
for money. Because we have clearly told them that uh, the compromise from Mullah has to come from Delhi, not from Nagaland. And many people misunderstood our, our perception. We are not negotiating. We don't participate in the negotiation. We are only facilitating both the parties, the government of India and uh, Nagar negotiating group, pushing them forward to come together and uh, and come to a uh, conclusion. That, that that is our request, and that is our mission, and we'll continue to do that. But some people misunderstood our mission that we are we are negotiating with government of India. That is totally wrong. Sir, sir. Yes. Yeah, there is a talk going on that uh, Mr. T. R. J. Liang has compromised his political career by joining the US party. Yeah, there's two lines cannot uh, live in the same camp. <laughs> no. Two lions or three lions have to live together for survival. <laughs> because when we both decided, MP and NDPP, both conscientiously decided that uh, two regions should come together. I mean, one has to merge with another party for how to come together. So the formula is that one party has to merge with another party. But that that will not invite any dispute between two of us. Because I have agreed that he should, he should provide a stable government. When two regional parties stand together and when two regional strong parties are there the third group will take advantage like in the past BGP people came to me they they asked for 15 uh, seat sharing and NDPP offered 20 so they went with uh, NDPP like that so we should not give room for undue advantage to be taken by the third party. If two strong result parties come together, it protects every one of us. That is the concept. And not to dispute the uh, leadership. You mean to say that you should not give uh, advantage to BJP? BJP or Congress or any national party coming in between will take advantage. Not, not I'm not uh, particularly mentioning BJP, but uh, any third party coming in, if the if the, if the Congress will be, or any other political party. So, here, I want to clarify before the Naga people that whatever we have done is according to the law of the land. And there are some MLAs or party leaders who do not understand the, the amended law of this uh, uh, Indian constitution. So. Uh, if you read between the lines, the ten schedule, it is very clear that one, one, two thirds of the MLA so decide to merge with another political party. Nothing can stop them because democracy, the, the, the democratic norm has to be followed. When this NCP, NCP three MLA case were was hurt, uh, hurt in the Kohima uh, division then. The BGP, the BGP advocate from Haryana, Shakya Padre, he came. And in his argument, it is very clearly mentioned in the judgment that the concept of this ten schedules before amendment was one third can cause split and form another party and uh, merge into another party. That was allowed. And two third Two third of L two third of MLS along with party functionaries can merge with another party. That was the original setup of the ten circle. But after two thousand three amendment that as per clause four point two as I have mentioned, that along with political parties has been omitted and the word deemed to have taken place. Because the, the advocate of that BGP argued that uh, 
a candidate is given ticket by the party and a candidate is voted by the party so elected member carry the mandate of the party so there is no necessity that party functionaries to come again along with the elected member that was the argument in the court and the judge upheld that argument that so i want to make it very clear for the the position that 21 MLS has taken merging with NDPP party.